$7.44 for 4.2 miles. Cash, $6.50, 2.5 miles. Let's go. Buddy, it is uh, Wednesday, July 24th, 6.21 a.m. And we're on our way to Starbucks. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so far everything's been going good this morning. It was kind of slow. Just one other offer came in. And I have I've been I've had the app on since about I don't know ten minutes before six, so it's been about a half an hour of waiting until we got this one. So uh, hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, the only thing different that we're going to do today is uh, after uh, each drop off, I'm going to try to find a, a safe place to park, and then uh, I'm going to wait five minutes for another offer just to see if I can conserve miles. All right, we're almost at Starbucks. wasn't ready and I had to stand there for a while waiting for it but there was hardly anybody inside the Starbucks so they sort of knew who I was right away and they were just like making sure that I was picking up uh, the order that they were preparing and that went fine it was it's a big bag and so when I when I first walked up to the counter I saw the bag so I was like well I know they're working on it because I see it right there. So it's just a matter of them acknowledging that I am the person that's picking up that order, which they did after about a minute or two. And uh, yeah, and I just sort of just waited for it and uh, they gave it to me and I headed on out of there. And that's the end of that story. I don't think anything else too interesting happened. Every, everything was real quiet in there. And uh, I just made sure, every time I go in there, I just make sure I stay standing up and I stay near the um, counter. So they don't think I've disappeared or, you know. Because sometimes they'll, they'll prioritize uh, delivery orders based upon if the driver is there or not. So if they don't know you're, if they think you're not there, they won't work on your order. So I always just try to <laughs> make sure it's known that I'm there and waiting. And so now we're on our way to a drop off. It's a house. It's a leave at the door. And um, yeah, and then after I drop it off, this is going to be a new experience for me. I got to figure out where I'm going to like park and sit and wait for the next uh, five minutes. So that'll be weird. Scouting out where I'm going to park. I think there's a wall right over there on the left. And I think I might park there after I make this turn. Order their door. I think it's this house here on the left, which it is. So let's turn it around. All right, let's do it. I'm still in the same neighborhood that I just dropped off at. I just parked around the corner against a wall. And hopefully people don't think I'm some kind of creeper. So it's 6.35 a.m. And I'll sit here for five minutes and let's see what happens. DoorDash, $9.25, 7.3 miles. That's a no. Well, there's about 30 seconds left. And I just got that one offer for Albertsons from DoorDash. And that's been about it. And boy, oh, something's coming in, but it's Walmart, uh, $5.03, 6.2 miles, no. So that's it. I'm going to start moving because nothing's happening. And man, that was so boring. <laughs> I was watching, trying to watch TikTok to pass the time, but for some reason, time just comes to a stop when you're not doing anything. And so boring. I don't know how anybody does it. How do you guys sit there parked? waiting for offers to come in it is insanity oh. 
$4.2 miles. Uber Eats, $16.76, 12.5 miles. Uber Eats, $6.06, 9.7 miles. DoorDash, $13.50 for 8 miles. $7.04, 9.7 miles. Uber Eats, $11.04, uh... What, how many miles? Where is it? 6.4 miles. $3.09, 5.3 miles. $9.02, 11.9 miles. $6.09, 7 miles. $5, 3.8 miles. $1.21, 11.1 miles. $1.17, 11.1 miles. Oh, we got this one already. $1.53, 4.1 miles. $15 for 12.9 miles. Seven dollars and thirty cents for four point five miles. Five dollars forty seven cents, four point one miles. Dollars forty six cents, four point one miles. Seven dollars and fifty cents for five point six miles. Dollars and eighty three cents for three point five miles. Close but no cigar. Sixty two cents for what is that? Nine point six miles. No. Dollars fifteen cents, six point six miles. And something just came in from DoorDash. Four dollars. For 4.8 miles, no one know. 39 cents, 5.3 miles. We got one, $9.10, 3.5 miles, let's go. Wow, I was at home for a long time and uh, every offer was not so good. I mean, I think there was one offer I was debating. I think it was like a $6 and change one and it was like 3.5 miles. That one was borderline. It was almost $2 for every mile, but when they're that close, I'm like, it just depends on my mood. And I was just like, well, it's still early in the game. So there was no reason to take it. If it was later in the day and I was just trying to, you know, trying to just get get work done, I think I would have probably taken that one. But it all worked out because less than a, less than about four, I think it was less than four minutes or less than that. After I declined that one, this good one came in. So it was worth the gamble. So you just never know. really big order uh, Uber Eats three dollars nine cents six miles no it's like two big bags and it's so we're gonna be going to oh there's a big trash trash machine behind us don't back up into me trash machine <laughs> big old giant truck oh great now I'm gonna be racing this guy that's parallel to me oh yeah yeah Murphy He's always watching him for, out for me. Every chance he gets. He's looking to cause me nothing but pain and misery. Okay, we're going to be going 2.3 miles from here. Six minutes. It is a house. We have a gate code. It is a leave at the door. And let's just go. Based on the map, it looks like we're going to go to this fancy house that has this really tall, decorative uh, courtyard gate. It's like two stories tall, and when you open it, it's like you're opening up the gates to heaven. It's so giant. So uh, that'll be cool to, to look at when we get there, if that's the house. And um, I don't think there's anything else exciting to mention about this delivery. It's just heavy. Whatever they order, it's a lot of stuff. And uh, it's, it's borderline. You have to carry it in both hands. It's like one real super heavy large bag and then a light and then a light bag but uh it's still manageable this drop off i have to figure out where i'm gonna park uh once i drop it off and wait my five minutes so i'm trying to think where i could park uh because i can't park in that neighborhood 
Uh, it's too, you know, it's one of those fancy neighborhoods where anything, anything that seems suspicious, <laughs> they, they, I don't want to get into trouble, you know. So I'll leave that neighborhood, and then I think the closest place to park is a Vons. There's a Vons grocery store that's near that community. So tentatively, that is the plan after the drop-off. See, now there's a whole new thing I gotta do after every delivery. I've gotta figure out where can I safely park and wait for that five minutes to see if you know other offers come in. I'll figure it out. There's like a guy standing there by the gate. Maybe waiting for his order. <laughs> People are so weird. There are so many strange people in the world. Turn left on Port Place. So many strangers. Strangers are strange. All right, it says make a left here. Let's see, it says to that one. Oh, and I think the, the owners are out, so that's great. They're going to mess up my whole drop-off. Well, what are you going to do, you know? All right, let's do this. episode got blown the owners of the house were out so they messed up the whole the whole show <laughs> well you got to see their fancy gate well at any rate now i've got to find a uh, safe place to park and hopefully hopefully i can uh get something soon because i hate waiting all right i'm gonna just cross this light and then park at vons all right well i'm parked and uh yeah, <laughs> I'm not in the Vaughn Shopping Center. There's like a business, uh, a business center across, and so it will be easier for me to be here than to be over in the shopping center because you know, there's just a lot more people in the shopping center, and there's nobody over here in this business complex. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's 7:52, so I have until 7:57. And then I'm heading back. And so far, this strategy has not worked at all. <laughs> but maybe this one, maybe this particular instance, it's gonna work. So let's see what happens. All right, well, there's just about one minute left. And I've been sitting here, obviously, for almost five minutes. And I haven't gotten anything. So, so far, this has been a total just waste of my time. I could have already been home by now. Well, um, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna give, be here for just another few more seconds and then I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I think this is probably gonna be the last time I, I do this experiment. It is, it, it's not fun at all. It's just like you're, I was, I'm watching TikToks like I'm at home, but I, oh, I don't feel like I'm at home. And now it's time to go. So I'm out of here. Got our next one Uber Eats, $5.87, 2.3 miles. Let's get back to Starbucks. Business. Uber Eats, eight dollars forty-three cents, eleven point one miles now. Uh, we're going to a business, and it's gonna be leave at the front desk. So uh, yeah, it's only point nine miles from here. Two minutes. Let's go. And I think I've been here before. I remember this sort of like long runway of marble tile and these ladies at the far end of the office. So let's see if I'm right. I haven't been in here in a long time. I remember these big leather chairs. Um, drop off. I remember the drop off being pretty easy. So let's see. 
Yeah, it's coming up. They have no cars in the parking lot today. Well, okay, let's hope that it's open because there's nobody here. Let's try it. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, I've had uh, two offers come in so far and they were no good. So I didn't take them. And now I'm just still uh, waiting for a decent offer <laughs> to come in. And since I'm parked here, I thought, hey, why don't I do a different angle since I have the phone in my hands as I wait for offers to come in. So... <laughs> So yeah, so I said, okay, I'm going to do that. So it's helping to pass the time. It's I got three more minutes to go until I can move my car. And I can't wait, let me tell you. Uh, $5.25 from DoorDash, 2.9 miles. It was my third time doing the uh, five-minute wait. And it was, once again, a, another waste of time. Didn't get a darn thing. Heading back to base. Eight dollars twenty-five cents, three point four miles. Shop for ten items. Ten dollar minimum is my requirement for shopping. Seven dollars, six point seven miles. Oh, green. I mean, DoorDash. Seven dollars fifty cents, three point two miles. Shopping for five items. Sorry, you got to be ten dollars. Fifteen dollars twenty-five cents, fourteen point nine nine miles to shop at Staples. Nope. Dollars forty-two cents, three point nine miles we got our next one it's not very good it's five dollars for 2.5 miles back to starbucks a business uh 1.1 miles from here three minute drive it's a meet at the door it's gonna be a business and then we're gonna have to find a place to park but we'll pro i'll probably just park inside the same shopping center that i'm dropping off at and uh wait my wait my allotted five minutes and then i'm, I'm making an adjustment to my shopping rule because it's been slow and we only got about an hour and a half left and then the day's gonna be over. So now I'm gonna take uh, shopping offers as long as they are $2 for every mile, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, let's go drop this off. I think I'm gonna park a little bit away from the, the business uh, so that way I can, you know, not, not move the car again. So I'll probably park at a parking spot, maybe a couple of doors down from uh, the drop off. And then I'll just stroll on over to the drop off. And then um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll get something while I um, am parked and, and I won't have to uh, head back home, especially if I'm lowering my, my rule for shopping. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. I don't know. I'm trying to, uh, you know conserve the miles while still getting offers but today for whatever reason it's a lot slower than normal and uh, all I've been getting all day is Starbucks which is kind of weird I don't think I've done one shopping trip at all and let's see if there's any parking that's a bit of ways from the from the target let's see there doesn't seem to be very many parking options let's see Where's their front door? Okay, I see their front door. This looks like a good place where they won't think I'm a, a weirdo. Okay, here we go. Hi 
I've gotten uh, two offers that have come in. One was shopping, but the miles were too high. And the other one was, I think, for scrambled and the miles were too high. So <laughs> it's funny doing it this way. So anyway, um, I'm still waiting and uh, yeah, hopefully something comes in, but I'm sitting here in the parking lot like a creeper and I have to be here for four more minutes. $3.67 for six miles. The clock has expired and once again, this is another, another miss. I enjoyed sitting here twiddling my thumbs. It was a grand old time. What could be better, I tell you? Nothing. Oh, perfect. The guy in the, tr the garbage truck decided to uh, block me so I can't get by. I'll try making a right this way. See if I can sneak out. Man, I've been having bad luck with the garbage truck people today. They've been, uh, they've been trying to box me in at every turn today. I don't know why. And the, I could tell the guy that got out of the garbage truck, he was not happy. He was like, oh, great, I'm blocking another person. He must get dirty looks all day long from other drivers. I mean, because their job is so hard, they've got to go as fast as they can to empty these trash cans all over town, and they have to do it within a certain amount of time. So it's crazy how, how, much, how fast they've got to go. And now I've got this senior citizen coming out really, really slow. Oh, well. It's okay. I'm just waiting for offers to come in, so I'm in no hurry. Come on, guy. Let's go. All right. Well, dead silent on the app, so... And it's 9.31 a.m. I guess I'll tell you another childhood story. So in kindergarten, when I was five years old, I was in, I was in class, and I had to go to the bathroom. I had to go number one. And so I went... I went to the bathroom, and you know, when you're real little, you're not, you're not very strong, so I had, I had on one of those big 1970s leather belts, and when I tried to undo the, the buckle, you know, to get the little uh, pointy part out of the hole on the buck, belt buckle, it wouldn't come loose. No matter how hard I pulled, I guess I had, made, I had put my pants on and, and tightened the belt so tight on the on the you know on one of the rungs of the belt that I couldn't undo it as a little kid and you know when you're little you're not real with it you know I could have done other things to to take care of business to go to the bathroom but as a child you're just thinking I can't undo my belt buckle how am I gonna go to the bathroom so I ran out of the bathroom to one of my friends in kindergarten and asked them to help me so there we were in the bathroom and he was tugging on the buckle as, as I was standing there and uh he couldn't do it either but it was like a it was like a little rascals episode so needless to say there was an accident that day but it's kindergarten it happens to everybody got an order from DoorDash $25 25 cents for 10 miles and we got a shop for two different people, uh, 11 distinct items. Let's get on over to Vong. It's gonna be the last one I'm gonna be doing unless I get a, a shopping add-on to this order. I know it's possible. I've seen offers where they tell you to shop not just for two people, but for three. So if they happen to add on another, uh, another customer into the Vons delivery process and it makes sense like it's going to take me back closer to home i'll take it because the last drop off uh for this order is is the opposite direction from my house so once i drop the last one off it's going to be a long drive back and that's going to have me go over my 30 mile limit which is fine i mean it's an it's once again it's just a a, a number that i just try to stick to right now because i'm just sort of thinking in the long term the longevity of the car it's like well I want my car to last as long as possible and I'm still getting my exercise, doing the job and the dollar amount that I make is not that important. It's, it's important because of course, you know, I want to make money, but it's not important as, I, as far as I have to make a certain minimum amount or I'm uh, in trouble. It's, God, that guy's going right through the red light. Wow. <laughs> People here are too much. Okay, the shopping list is up. We're going to be getting some cherries, uh, some bacon wrap, jalapeno, pepper with cream cheese, something. I don't know what. Maybe it's in the deli section. 
uh, Parmesan wedge cheese that definitely is in the deli section some organic frozen strawberries some veggie spiral zucchini boy they, these whoever's buying this stuff they're trying to be real original most of the stuff I don't think I've ever shopped for mozzarella cheese pork rinds boy, they're going for the gold uh, scrubbing pads almond milk Catalina Crunch keto friendly maple waffle cereal uh, a gallon of water the crystal geyser and I think that's it those are some weird items they picked out let's go Pork rinds. Isn't that one where chips would be? Doesn't that sound like it would be a chip item? These are some hard to find items. I do want this Catalina Crunch cereal. Customers made my life really difficult. They wanted they wanted like things added on, and there were certain items that weren't in stock, so they wanted substitutes. They weren't happy with the first substitute, so they wanted me to look at other, send them pictures of other things. Then they're like, "Oh, uh, could you go back? Could you go back and get me some more of this because I didn't put enough." into the car and I want more of this item I'm like okay hopefully they tip a little bit more for my for going out of my way but you know you just try to just do what they say if you can and then move on so did all that and so one of the customers the bulk of the items was that was the that one customer and then uh, just a few items for the other customers so I guess they're the ones that are really paying for this this um, delivery the other customer probably isn't hardly paying anything at all and they're the they're the one furthest away so they've lumped them together with you know a generous tipper with a not generous tipper lumped together so uh anyway the next one the the one we're going to is six minutes from here 2.8 miles it's a leave at the door it looks like it's a house please ring the doorbell and put delivery on the bench by the front door thank you 
40 minutes since I accepted this offer so it looks like it's gonna take an even hour to complete all uh, or a little bit more because the second delivery is very far from here so uh, we've got after I drop this one off which is six minutes away I guess we're gonna have as long as it's not any greater than 10 minutes from from this drop-off that makes it an hour if it goes beyond that I guess it would be you know more than an hour which is fine the days the days over I've done all the shopping it's just drop drop and goodbye goodbye Looks like I'm gonna be going into a uh, guard gated community so hopefully the the line won't be too long to get in it's 10 31 a.m. a lot of people are still working at this time a lot of landscapers so I, I made it in and uh, we got an add-on to the order we got to go to Walgreens but I'll tell you about it in a minute so uh, let's get to this house I think it's this one straight ahead I've been here before yep it's this one right here all right let's do it Okay, so the add-on is an additional six dollars for half a mile we have to go to Walgreens and shop for one item and that's what we're going to next all right I took a peek at the shopping list not the actual list where you see pictures but just like the section where it shows you in text what you're shopping for since we're just shopping for one item I was trying to get a sense of how difficult it's gonna be to get it so it's one of those emergency contraceptive tablets so I'm trying to remember I think those are behind the counter so I'm just gonna head to the register and ask them if they have it and then they can direct me if it's not behind the counter but I'm pretty sure it's behind the, it just depends on the store sometimes they put it in the feminine hygiene section other times it's behind the counter so I think it just depends so I think it really it's all about how, how high is the level of theft for a certain item and so that sounds like it's a high theft item I can see a lot of, of young people trying to pocket that item to, and get out of there real quick well you guys can see the item on the screen and uh, yeah take action emergency contraceptive tablet one many are in stock so as I snake my way to the parking spot and uh, park I will uh, hop out of this car I don't want to park next to this guy in the truck why did he have to take the front spot hopefully he doesn't have a friend with him like the uh, next person we're gonna be dropping off at is going to be the uh, Walgreens customer they must be the ones closest to me I guess but um, I feel bad for the customer that I shop for at Vons because they have those bacon wrapped bacon wrapped jalapeno cream cheese things that I got at the deli section and how long are those things gonna stay fresh <laughs> how long can they possibly stay fresh I tell you I'm just hoping that this uh, person that I'm dropping off at is a quick drop-off it is just to leave at the door it, but it's, it's an apartment and they gave a gate code so I just hope that it's a 
it's a quick and easy one and that I see their apartment building right away uh, they didn't give me a building number so <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen well somebody's uh, groceries just fell over in my back seat <laughs> I didn't even break that hard but I guess I angled the the bag wrong there's like a heavy bottle of water in the bag and it caused everything to tip over hopefully it didn't crush the um, bacon wrapped jalapenos I can only hope so um, let's see it says to make a right here and then I think I see it yeah it's a building straight ahead okay that's good news so I'm gonna park and then I'm gonna try to straighten out the crush check and make sure nothing was badly crushed behind me off went okay no problems I checked on the bag that tipped over nothing got damaged or crushed so I repositioned the bag so that way if I break it won't topple over so easily Whew. and now we're on our way to the last final drop off it is 10 51 a.m. it's gonna take us three more minutes to get there so just about at 11 a.m. I'm going to finish up and it's going to take me probably 20 minutes to drive back home from here because I'm far north. I'm north of sunset. I'm in the forbidden zone. Okay, and then the drop off is they leave at the door. We have a gate code. We have some directions. Uh, it's an apartment and a building number. But I'm inside the apartment complex. They said to take the left gate, but that gate was closed and I didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of getting out of the car and wondering if the code wasn't going to work. The right gate was open. It took me the long way around, but it's not like it's a big deal. It's like how this isn't a super ginormous complex, so it's going to be this building here on the left. Oh, I don't know which apartment it is, so. I'm going to just park and start walking, see if I can figure it out. They don't put the numbers really close to, to each other. I turned the apps off so all in all today was not a bad day I was really concerned that I wasn't gonna hit the goal uh, the goal I guess was you know I tried every day to make about $50 sometimes a little more sometimes a little less it used to be in the past I used to try to go for a hundred dollars but ever since I started making the videos I've had to reduce my hours so that way I can keep um, pumping out a video every day without getting burned out so basically I work like a I think my schedule right now is like an eight to nine hour day so from six to two is usually the the hours that I usually go if I include uh, video editing and I'm trying to keep it real stru structured like that because uh, if I go any more than that I start to feel like I'm cheating myself out of um, you know out of opportunities to do other things other than this particular type of gig and so yeah so I'm just gonna keep on doing that and um, hopefully uh, the money the revenue that I can generate from making the um, the videos will uh, come to fruition as they say things will happen and uh, right now I think I'm only I'm fluctuating right now between about five to ten dollars a day 
in revenue and ad revenue for making the video so it's very very small it's actually not worth it because I'm losing about fifty dollars now every down well like thirty to fifty dollars every day that I'm making the videos but I keep thinking about the long-term you know like the long-term uh, hopes that the that making the videos will attract enough interest enough people will be interested in them and I would think that after doing it for about a year I would think after about a year uh, I will be able to tell whether or not you know there's an actual market for making um, you know door dashing videos but you know specifically my style of door dashing videos because I can't I can't copy other people I can't pretend to be somebody else or create scenarios that are not going to be um, you know honest in whatever happens because then that's not going to be true to who I am and it would just it would just it would feel like work if like I'm putting on a performance so um, so yeah so take a look at the numbers everybody you can see how much money we made and I think I w I'm now above fifty dollars uh, you can also see the hourly rate and you can see the miles driven I'm over my thirty dollars I mean thirty miles that I wanted to do but but it's fine I mean I knew that before I accepted the offer so I'm a little bit over the 30 mile mark and then below you can see all the stats for DoorDash and uh, Uber Eats so uh, yeah I guess that's about it so thank you all for watching once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you again on the next one bye for now